What's up, gamers? The Red Dragon here, and we are covering the top stories on VGM. So here is an interesting one. One of the most sensitive areas around the globe is the Korean Peninsula and the border between South Korea and North Korea. And I'm sure you've heard about North Korea if you pay attention to anything going on in the world. It's known for its brutality. It's known for its disconnect with the rest of the world. Just last month, the new leaders, one of his uncles, apparently, he did something that pissed off the dude, and he ended up having his uncle put to death. And he just got done actually putting all of his uncle's relatives to death to make sure that he knocks out that whole section of the family so there's no future uprising. So there are all kinds of crazy stories that come out of North Korea and this area is, is heavily guarded and protected because it's been on the brink of war for a very long time and anything could set it off. Well, it appears that there is a new tool being used in the viewing of this border or watching it, and it's the Xbox Connect. So a South Korean programmer, he has written a program that uh, tells the Connect to watch out for people crossing over the border, and the military is actually using this and has had it in place since August of last year, but it's just now getting to be public knowledge because it was national security at the time whenever they were setting it up. They say that the Connect can distinguish between animals and humans, and it alerts soldiers or whoever needs to be alerted whenever it picks up something or somebody crossing the border or wherever this connect can see. And they also mention that in the future that they plan on being able to detect heat signatures and also heart rates. So uh, it appears that they may be getting ready to upgrade their system to the Xbox One Connect. So it appears that the Connect is at least living up to the name the Spy Box in one country on the planet. So post below, let me know what do you think about this idea? Do you think that's a pretty good idea for the military to take advantage of this technology? Links down below if you want to read more about it. Be sure you subscribe and hit that like button on the way out. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.